The question is, how can you convince management of the importance of investing in cybersecurity when you haven't been through the pain? And that's actually a very similar question that we get even more often, which is how do you convince executives to do an implementation right when they haven't been through the pain of a failure? And so the companies that we work with that have failed in some way, whether it's in their implementation or their cybersecurity efforts, they just have a certain level of maturity that you can't teach, you can't train it because they've been through it and they know they've been burned and they understand it. So the, the key is how can you make them feel a little bit of discomfort and pain without actually having going through it? And so the way we often do that is, is you know, you look at these case studies like the two I talked about here today or the two that have been, the three that have been shared here today, and you quantify that and say, what if that was us? What would that mean if that exact same thing happened to us? And these are just, you know, a pretty small sample of a couple examples that there's probably ones that are a lot worse than these three we heard here today. But if we take these as sort of starting point case studies and quantify that for our organization, oftentimes that gives you the business case you need to say, this is what it would cost us. You know, if it costs this much in terms of disruption and risk, and we need to invest this much, you know, it just makes more sense that we invest this much as sort of an insurance policy against that sort of thing.